What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Do you like citrus heavy fragrances? I sure as hell do. I know a lot of others do as well. And it got me thinking, because there's been some citrus dominant fragrances here in the last couple of weeks that I've gotten. They're just so damn good. I was like, man, let me compile a list of some of my absolute favorite citrus dominant fragrances. And this isn't the only 10 that I love, but the 10 that immediately come to mind, especially some of these recent pickups. I just really wanted to talk to you about them. No specific reason, rhyme, or season. They just smell really good, so let's talk about them. Stay tuned. Starting with the cheapest one, 17 bucks I paid for this 100ml tester with a cap. Carl Lagerfeld, Bois de Yuzu. Some of you that have been watching recent content have seen me talk about this one a few times. I've been wearing this one pretty much weekly. Bright, zesty, airy, a little spiced and woodsy. Yuzu. I forgot what other citrus is in here. I want to say it's bergamot. Might even be a little bit of orange, but man, I'm spraying that again. That's so good. This one brings me joy. All of these do. A beautiful, fresh, light citrus opening will put a smile on your face at least it does to me now with all of these literally all of them temper your expectations with performance because to get this level of light and airy freshness you're going to sacrifice some heavier base notes and lose some performance probably going to have a lower oil concentration most of the time too and that's the case with most of these so as long as you understand that going into it you can enjoy the intended experience because that's kind of how i would discuss and explain Bois de Yuzu. It's here for a good time. It's not here for a long time. About three to four hours of absolute fresh citrus, slight woodiness, pure beauty. It's a great cheap fragrance pickup full of citrus is Bois de Yuzu from Karl Lagerfeld. Now this one's got some decent performance. They're not all super weak in this video. Some are weaker than others, but Joe Love's Mango Thai Lime Obviously, it's centered around lime and mango, and it's got that citrus peel smell to it. A little bit of pepper going on. <sighs> Man, I haven't wore this one since the summertime. I pretty much exclusively wear this in the summer since I got it. This fragrance, oh man. Want to talk about a happy fragrance. This is a happy fragrance right here. Uh, you can only get it as far as I know. At least I bought it directly from the Joe Loves website. So those of you not familiar with Joe Loves, this is Joe Malone's secondary brand. This is a sister house uh, that she does exclusively. Still niche fragrances, more artist artisanal than the Joe Malone brand, where that's more mainstream. This is more artisanal, smaller niche, uh, but still great. Some magnetic caps, great atomizers, high quality stuff. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Uh, my friend Hillary sent me a decant last year of this, and of all the decants she sent me, this was the one that stood out where I was like, I have to have a bottle. So I ended up grabbing a bottle. If you like mango, if you like lime and pepper, you'll very much enjoy Joe Love's Mango Thai Lime. All right, so this is one of the recent pickups that really got this video idea sparked in the first place. I wore this out the shower last night in the middle of doing the video, because the video came out today at the recording of this. I sprayed this on my neck, not just on my hands, but this is from North Stag's Expressions Collection from Paris Corner. This is number four, Quatre. And Quatre is a pretty good quality clone of Louis Vuitton's Afternoon Swim. Loads of orange, clean and musky, a little bit of zest, I believe there's some ginger in here. There's bergamot, but it's mainly orange. Just like this color scheme, watery, fresh, just amazingness orange it really does give me the vibe of being by the pool it really does everything I've ever smelled of the afternoon swim DNA but this is the best I've smelled I'm not saying it's the best one that exists when it comes to clones of afternoon swim I haven't tried them all but of the few I've got hands God, this so strong so bright so fresh this is hands down my favorite of the ones I have. A close second would be Pool Day from Sammy Andrus Fragrances. That's really good too. This is an extra to Parfum. I haven't really been clocking longevity. I literally just got it and smelled it for the first time last night. It's been 24 hours since I got this. I've worn it once. I didn't really clock it last night before bed. I know I at least got a few hours out of it before I fell asleep, but man, if you want some bright, fresh, mouth-watering citrus, just a joyful scent. 
joyful scent is the main takeaway here. You might want to look into this one. I'll have links below for pretty much everything that I can find. This is from Paris Corner in their North Stag Expressions collection. This is number four, Quattro. A modern classic of bergamot, woods, and musk. Aqua de Parma's Blue Mediterranean line, Bergamato de Calabria. This big bottle, I got it last year. I only wore it a little bit during the summer. I'm going to be wearing it a good bit this summer. Such a believable bergamot. This is like a three-hour fragrance. You're getting like 45 minutes to an hour of really good projection. Brightness, beautiful. After three hours, pretty much gone. High heat, outdoor scenarios, very refreshing, mouth-watering. Photorealistic bergamot as well. But not a performance king. Definitely not uh, something that's going to blow the doors off anybody with longevity, sillage. Projection's heavy early, but not for a long time. It goes back to what I said about Bois de Yuzu. It's here for a good time, but not here for a long time. That is most of the fragrances in the Blue, blue uh, tongue twister, blue Mediterranean line from Aqua de Parma. But some of the most enjoyable fresh citrus experiences you can have. And there's an argument when it comes to fresh citrus that this is the best one of the line. People bring up Fico di Amalfi and all in this particular line, but that's not completely citrus dominant. That's more about the juicy fig, obviously. Whereas this, all about the bergamot. Sure, you get woods and musk and a little bit of benzoin I don't really get, but woods and musk, but mainly it's all about this bergamot. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's Bergamato di Calabria from Aqua de Parma. Okay, I'm here to change your life with this one. It's a hybrid of Dolce & Gabbana's Pineapple and 13ZZ01 Creed Aventus Batch. This is fruits and citrus that'll blow your mind when you smell this opening. It's from Making Sense. It's called Juicy Maximus. I'm here to change your life with this fragrance. I don't encourage blind buying all that often. I encourage sampling. It's like 20 bucks for the 17 ml. It goes a long way. Juicy, fruity, super citric. A lot of this orange pineapple kind of smell. A little bit of black currant, but... Such a juicy citrus fruit combination. This opening is... To die for. Most of these fragrances, that's the case. Citrus openings, they're winners. This is a total winner. Now, this is a bit richer than the other fragrances we're discussing here today, for the most part, because this is a very high oil concentration. It is robust. There's a lot of things going on. It's actually quite the complex fragrance as far as the note pyramid. But this opening, the citrus and fruits and everything stay for a really long time. Like I said, I'm here to change your life with this one. Is that a bit of an exaggeration? Could be. Depends on how much you fall in love with the damn thing when you find it. May underwhelm you, may overwhelm you. Just, oh my God, I'm so glad I got this. You never know. But it's cheap. You get a decent amount for around 20 bucks. It lasts a long time. Really good performance. It's loud. It's perfectly unisex. And it's one of the best opening notes I've ever smelled in a fragrance. That's why I give it such high praise. This is making sense. Juicy Maximus. The standard bearer when it comes to enjoyable fresh citrus. Now, even though lemon is not a note, it smells like lemonade. It's Dior Homme Cologne. Now, the bottle's a little bit different these days, but my understanding, it's the same fragrance. It's more to the style of the current Dior Homme, where it's got this little block thing in the cap and all that. But this is still that grapefruit blossom, a little bit of vetiver. Still smells like lemonade. So beautiful and sneaky performer. So most people online, most people in general are going to tell you this is a weak fragrance. I went up the Manitou Incline in Colorado Springs, climbed a mountain, is basically what we can say here, and wore this. And my friends that I was with, hours into wearing this, we're talking like six or seven hours, I was walking ahead of them on the down part of the trail when we were coming down the mountain, Literally said, you're wearing Dior own cologne. And I was 10 feet ahead of him, six, seven hours into having sprayed this, because I spray a fragrance for everything. Yeah, I went hike up a mountain with Dior own cologne, because I love fragrance. I spray a fragrance for every damn thing. I got one I like to wear when I go play golf, specifically, CH Men Sport, for those of you wondering. Point being, yeah, I wore a fragrance for that, and blew my mind that he, A, could smell me, B, knew exactly what I was wearing, in the fragrances, obviously, but to just straight up call it out, you're wearing Dior Homme Cologne, that far into it, when I thought it was like a four-hour fragrance, kind of close to double that in longevity, and the sillage, it was trailing. It was trailing hardcore, so 
anosmia, people. I keep preaching about how it's a real thing and it's under underrated for that really being the problem. Everything's everything's reformulated and it's all oh, it's so weak. You're going nose blind, pimping. Here's one that proved it to me about two years ago. But I know that was a bit of a rant, but I had an interesting story tied to this one. And this is one of the most enjoyable, heavily replicated fragrances out there when it comes to fresh lemonade scents. There was a stretch when a lot of fragrances were trying to smell like this. Looking at you, Mercedes-Benz Cologne, but and Jimmy Choo Man Ice. But this is some good, good stuff, and it's still to this day worth checking out. It's still beautiful. It's Dior Homme Cologne. Now we're stepping up to big boy citrus, okay? This is the most expensive fragrance in this video. Do not blind buy this. I don't care how good it is. Sample it first. It's very expensive. But, Roger Parfum's Oceania. Oh, we're next level citrus now. Citrus medley that's out of this world. Grapefruit, lemon, lime, all these different things. There's some greens like rosemary, but the florals that are here is the biggest caveat for me. It's iris and violet, and they're a little more soapy than that flowery smell. Of course, they do add a little bit of powder to this fragrance. There's some powderiness to it. And there's no aquatic notes, but it smells very much like an airy, watery, aquatic fragrance. God, this is so good. Hence the name and the theme. God. And it's a very airy and light aroma that stays for a long, long time. It is a parfum, and it acts as such. It, but the difference here is it manages to be light and airy, almost like an eau de cologne. There's a richness to it at first, don't get me wrong. It smells thick at first, but it becomes very airy and light. It really radiates off of the skin, at least for me. Every bit of nine or 10 hours on my skin, I've clocked it at, just giving me random light whiffs coming off of the skin, not having to go look for it. This is magic. This is the most relaxing, laid back, fresh, bright, and inviting fragrance I've smelled from Raja Dove. This is a beautiful fragrance. I would strongly encourage you get the experience. Try this fragrance. Don't blind buy this fragrance. But once you try it, you get a sample or a decant, you're going to end up wanting it because it's that good. Raja Parfums, Oceania. Do you like Sprite? Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that. Paris Corners Vibrant Vetiver Delight. So this is their take on Byredo's Bal de Freak, which not one-to-one, -one, close. I like this more. This is a rare instance where I like the clone more than the niche fragrance it's copying. It's so rare that that happens. But it reminds me so much of 7-Up and Sprite and Lemon Lime Soda. There's this zestiness that kind of mimics what the carbonation would be. This fresh greens. This, the vetiver here. No earthiness whatsoever. Fresh and woody. And it's not lime. I say Lemon Lime Soda. It's bergamot, but it smells like the color. It smells very much like this. You get lemon and bergamot that gives a lemon lime soda smell. And it's really good. Above average performance. I did do a full review on this one a while back. This fragrance makes me very happy. I like to wear this one out the shower. I've worn it casually during the day. This is one of my favorite Paris Corner fragrances out of every one I've got. I've got plenty of Paris Corner fragrances at this point. This was one of my favorite pickups of 2023. It makes me happy to smell it. I would strongly encourage you to check this out if... Sprite smelling fragrances sounds good to you. It's Vibrant Vetiver Delight from Paris Corner. I'm so glad this is coming back this summer. Late spring, early summer, it's coming back. So I can start talking about it more because when spring and summer roll around, I'm going to start wearing it again. It's Zaharoff Signature Citrine. It is coming back in full effect in two ounce bottle and four ounce for those of you that were hoping for that. I'll argue with anybody that this is still the best top note out of every Zaharoff fragrance. Yes, Rosé and Black Rose are my two favorite fragrances from top to bottom, but this opening's magic. It's a smoky, clementine, limey, orangey type of smell because the incense pops on my skin for this one. It's a warm orange smell for the most part. It's kind of how I can put it most simple, most simplest way. <sighs> Man, I haven't smelled that in a little while. Let's go paintbrush the inside of the wrist here for a second. This is so good. You should be able to tell how much I love this one. Out of all these beautiful citrus fragrances, this is the one I'm smelling. On skin, God. Warm, resinous, smoky, but still super fresh, vibrant citruses. Clementine, which gives a little bit of a lime smell. Sweet orange. Chef's Kiss. Magnificent stuff. A lot of people's favorite. Temper expectations with performance. It's not a beast. It is an average performer for me, though. 
when you put it in a heated situation where your body heats up, Siage Monster. You will go nose blind to it, though. You'll see people on the internet talking about how weak it is. They're going nose blind to it. That's 99.9% .9 of the time the problem with most fragrances. Is people are going nose blind, and I get argued with all the time. Nah, bro, bro, but bro, bro, bro. I'm telling you, bro, but bro, bro. They always start it with that, or end it with that, or start and end it with that. Point being, some good stuff. I'm glad it's coming back because there's some people that missed out on it that have been begging for a restock and uh, found out recently that it is indeed coming back, and it is one of the better citrus openings with real depth. There's depth here. This isn't a basic fragrance. There's complexity. It ties to the signature pour home DNA for those of you familiar with it, but one of the best George has ever put out. It's a Haroff Signature Citrine. This is super citrusy and fruity. A little sweet, a little zest, a little sharp, a little bitter. Tart, a lot going on here. I saved my most recent kind of love when it comes to citrus dominant fragrances for last. Because this one, I can't wait for warmer weather to wear. I can't wait. I got it recently. I had no idea how good this was, or at least how much I was going to like it. It's Mancera Wild Fruits. This has been out for 13 years. This is not some new release or anything. I'm just super late to this party. And I feel like a lot of people are late to this party because there's so many releases from year, on, year in and year out from Pierre Montal between Mancera and Montal. Who knows what to try, you know? But... This reminds me, because of the way the citrus fruits, the lemon, the black currant come across, if you were to take away all the woody nuance and the leather and stuff like that, tone down any of the fruity sweetness and just add some tart, cit tart fruitiness with the sharp, watery citrus, it smells like kind of that with Cidrapoise. Like, take a lot of Cidrapoise's top and remove a lot of the base and change out more fruits and stuff like that and citruses, and you get wild fruits. Because that lemon black currant top that is so good reminds me a bit of the top note of Cidrapoise. And Cidrapoise is one of my favorite fragrances ever, 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 ever. So this is basically like a citrus dominant, fresher version that still has really good performance. This is still every bit of an eight hour fragrance on my skin so far as what I've been testing it with. And it's pretty loud. It's for about two hours, it's pretty damn loud. It's a typical Mancera performance for their freshies. Above average. Not a beast, but. Strong, well above average. This is a sleeper. This is a sneaky one. You're not going to hear too many people talking about this one. I don't watch that much fragrance content out of, outside of this channel anymore, but pretty confident I'm one of the few and proud that are talking about how good this is. Sample. Get a sample if you can. Not the worst blind buy in the world. I'm not going to encourage you to blind buy any of these, but if you like Mancera, like I do, or a third of how I do, because i got a lot of Manceras, if you like Mancera, like even a fraction, a sizable fraction, I guess. Let's go third to a fifth of what I do. You're probably going to like this. If you like Cidrap Boise, you're probably going to like this. Redundant to Cidrap Boise? No, I don't think so. But it does have elements that remind me of it. I think that's why I like it so much. This is a goodie right here. Mancera, Wild Fruits. Well, that is the 10. It's not the only 10, but it's the 10 we're talking about here today that warrant being in this video because i would just like them that damn much and until next time do me a real quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe because i do appreciate all the feedback i love hearing from you guys did you try any of these let me know down below of the 10 that i featured do you have any experience with any of these and what do you think similar opinion differing opinion all good if you keep it respectful uh, but until next time i will say if you get your hands on any of these 10 and you give them a spray now i really believe there's a good chance you'll thank me later if you're just looking for a happy-go-lucky citrus fragrance Got you covered in this video. Have a good one, guys.